The fact of the matter is that globalization is a wild horse. United States is trying to control it, but it cannot control it. I mean, look at the economic meltdown of the October 2008. And look at the midterm election of just the past couple of months, and President Obama doesn't know what to do for the next election. I mean, there are many people who think that, in fact, a military strike against the Islamic Republic, led by President Obama, would, in fact, secure his chance for uh, uh, next uh, uh, term. Uh, so both the, before the June 2009, all of us thought that, in fact, national politics was irrelevant, that geopolitics of the region was the issue. What these demonstrations, masses of millions of young, 80% of the Iranian population is under the age of uh, uh, 40. The contested elections of the Contested election, presidential election. Everybody thought that uh, national politics is out of the picture. What happens inside Iran or inside Iraq or inside uh, Afghanistan, is, who cares, no, is, is nobody's uh, business. But suddenly, people matter people's liberty, people's economic and social and, and moral well-being matters. And the Islamic brutality of the Islamic Republic was exposed. And as a result, many progressive observers are now in a conundrum because emotively, emotionally, they, they look at uh, Islamic Republic and they look at it, okay, is a David Goliath situation, but is it standing up to uh, American imperialism, Israeli belligerence, etc. But then look at the in domestic affairs of Iran and you see, is a different picture. <laughs>